outfits welcome welcome so i figured i would do a video while i get ready because i am going somewhere tonight well tonight that i filmed so i want to share it with you guys so by this title my car caught on fire um and it is months late because at the time i was not allowed to talk about it it's fine legal stuff i guess but now that everything is secured everything happened it's been some time um i can talk about it hi ruger um you can get down now buddy <laughs> so first things first um for about two three months before everything happened um i get a paper saying hey you have a recall for your car for the abs module so i was like okay okay cool 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 um i'll take it in one of these days when i'm not at work well like a few days later my abs light came on and i was like oh what a coinky dink so i called up the dealership and i was like hey um i need to do a recall check my abs light came on and there's a recall out on my car and they were like yeah 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 that's okay it's fine um yeah we won't be able to get you in until january which was like a month and a half away and i was just like okay um is there anything quicker i mean is it like serious or can i still drive and they're like oh yeah 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 you're fine you're fine so i'm like okay and then they were like if we get anything in sooner then we'll give you a call okay and it's like i don't really deal with cars like i, I mean i do like i know how to fix cars but i don't really deal with it and i'm like i know what your abs module does and i know what the abs is for and i'm just like okay it's fine it's cool there's no issues so my appointment in january comes and i'm like okay this is great they go in and they're like yeah we replaced this and this but we have to wait for this part to come in so it's gonna um take us a little while so I was like, okay, um, the ABS light is still on. Is it safe to drive? But I'm basically like, okay, um, my ABS light is still on. I know you said you replaced this and this part, but am I still safe to drive it? Like, is it actually safe? And they were like, yeah, it's fine. We'll give you a call once, um the park comes in so i'm like okay cool and it's now a few weeks later um early february and i called them like hey um what's going on and they're like oh we're still waiting for your part so i'm like okay that's fine i just wanted an update because nobody's reached out to me and they're like yeah 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 we're just waiting for the part to come in like okay well fast forward like another week and a half it is the day after valentine's day and i get to work and as soon as i pull up to work in my parking spot i turn off my car and there was some buzzing but it like almost immediately died like 10 seconds after i took the keys out of the ignition so i didn't pay any attention to it i'm like okay that's fine that's cool i guess um my car just took a few extra seconds to shut down well that is not at all what happened so i get off of work and i'm like okay this is cool this is fine I'm gonna go home i'm so excited well i get in my car and i start my car and that buzzing noise picks back up. And 
then I didn't even fully start my car. You know how like you just turn the car on before you start the car? Um, well, that's what I do because I was always taught turn the car on and then start the car. So that's what I had done was I put the car onto the on position and it was buzzing, 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 buzzing. I got distracted. I'm sorry. I got a phone call. Well, going back, because um, I don't remember what I said. I basically turned my car on to the on position and it started buzzing. So I'm like, okay, this is, um, that's weird. My car doesn't buzz. Why is my car buzzing? So I didn't really pay much attention to it. I'm like, okay, maybe if I start my car, it will stop. So I started my car and I didn't go anywhere. I didn't change the gears or anything. I just started my car and I was like, okay. And then the buzzing got louder and louder and louder. And then I would turn my car off because I'm like, I'm not driving. This seems really unsafe. And as soon as I turned my car off, there was a loud buzz and then a pop. So then um, about a few seconds after the pop happened, I saw steam rise up from under my hood. And in my brain, I was like, oh, maybe my radiator um, cap popped off or something. But then after about two seconds, I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. I haven't been driving long enough for my car to overheat and my radiator to pop and then there be smoke or steam from my radiator. I was like, there's, what? No. So in the moment I was like, okay, let me go check it. Get down, get down. Thank you. He wants to do makeup too. I was like, let me go check it. So I grab a shirt from like my back seat or whatever fabric I had and I go, I pop my hood and fire. So I'm like freaking out. Um, but at this point I forgot. I'm on the phone with my dad because I called him with the buzzing to see if he could know what it is. So I'm on the phone with my dad <laughs> like every person like me does we call our daddy and I'm like do you know what this buzzing is have you heard this sound before and I'm like freaking out on the phone I'm like there's a fire my car's on fire and we are in a small um complex and there's like kids a few cars down so I'm freaking out because you know when there's a fire in a car my instant thought was it's going to explode i need to put this out as soon as possible so i run into the shop that was next to us i'm like hey do you guys have a fire extinguisher my car's on fire and they're like no 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 um we don't i'm like okay so i run back into my store i had to unlock the door to get back in and i immediately run for our fire extinguisher and I like yanked it off the wall, ran outside, forgot how to use a fire extinguisher, by the way. And it's like me and the person from the shop next door like put out the fire because I was like, oh my God, because I forgot how to use a fucking fire extinguisher. So they helped me. We get the fire out. And then he was legit like, damn, I didn't think you were serious. I'm like, of course I was serious. My car's on fire. Who just says that? Apparently they thought I was lying. And I'm still on the phone with my dad at this point because he stayed on the phone. Cause you know, had to make sure I was okay. And I'm like, what do I do? And he's like, call the insurance company. And 
make a claim, tell them that your car um, caught on fire and go from there. So I had called my insurance company and I explained to them what happened and they were like, okay, we'll get a tow truck out to you. I'm like, okay, great. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and then we went through the steps of making a claim. And so the tow truck company, this happened like right after I got off work. Um, tow truck didn't come until like 11 something at night. So I was there sitting at work for a few extra hours. Um, tow truck came, took my car and I was just like, okay, great. Um, the people, the insurance people were very nice and basically walked me through step by step because I'm like yeah this is the first time I've ever had to you know deal with you guys I've never had anything wrong I've never had to make a claim like what's going on like I don't understand but they were very helpful and um I have USAA so they were perfect really awesome people really awesome representatives and i got super lucky with them i've always had awesome service when it came with usaa like they have always treated me great it was when we got to the dealership people that i had issues but i waited i think it was two days that um insurance and collision got back to me so the collision place got back to me next day because they were like hey we got your car in um we're letting you know i'm like okay thank you well basically insurance people sent out um sent somebody out to go with my car and they were like yeah um if you make the claim with us we're gonna have to uh they said something to where it's like it it can cost you up to a thousand dollars and i'm like this isn't my fault this was a recall and then i had recalled my insurance company i'm like hey look an issue with my car was a recall so what do i have to do who am i supposed to be talking to like this wasn't my fault um so it's like what should i do because I was thinking, even if you fix my car and replace everything, a fire hazard is still something that can affect other things that could possibly lead to more issues. So I was just like, eh, who am I gonna speak with? And basically she was like, okay, we'll call the dealership and see what they have to say. Well, basically the dealership was like, boom, 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 boom. We wanna get this settled, cause you know, the dealership so I can't say too much on what the dealership did because of the paperwork but basically as soon as I got in contact with the dealership all the way up until payout I, I it, was, it was like a week and a half two weeks for everything um, but in general I was without a car for like a month and a half and I was able to put a down payment on a new car. But throughout this whole experience, the thing that it has taught me was do not believe the dealership. Just do not believe the dealership. That That is what this entire thing has taught me. Cause they said they fixed it, but they're just waiting for one more part. And then two weeks later, my car caught on fire. What a coinky dink. But I have a new car that I love. But I now have a car anxiety that is gonna catch on fire. So what do I do now? I now carry a small travel size fire extinguisher in my car. Cause imagine if I was driving on the road and that happened and I wasn't parked in front of my building. Has that, has anything ever happened to you guys with your car like that, like a crazy story? Like I just took it into the dealership to get it fixed 
and then two weeks later the recall that it was having issues with happened to my car after getting it fixed and it's like i have all the receipts and paperwork saying it was fixed but anyways like has anything happened with you guys in your car like has it ever caught on fire or done some weird off the wall stuff let me know because that i want to know other people's stories like let me know <laughs> thanks so much for watching be welcomed and get creative bye